And then I actually asked them to bump up the MRI, even though I talked to them at length, saying, is this something I should be concerned about? Every once in a while, I'll do one of these things where I kind of sit down and just kind of talk. Yesterday, I was explaining to you guys how I wasn't feeling too good, and I think I wanted to elaborate on that because I did notice a lot of people were um, going to different like things like, oh, it's COVID, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. And I just wanted to kind of get on here and just talk because it was on my mind. Um, I spoke with my doctor today, told him how like this morning I felt a little loopy. And here's the thing, Ali mentioned briefly years ago when I was on that drug, Vimpat, that I had to lay down and take a nap because of the fact that I don't know, my body didn't like it or something like that. It was like this weird drug. Apparently it's supposed to be the best, but my body was just like, you know what? You're not gonna like it. And then after that, we kind of had this whole, like they always call it a cocktail of prescriptions, which now I am on a cocktail of prescriptions. And I've never really had an issue, but recently because we've been working out a lot and the, the road trip, you know, constant working out, I lost weight obvious reasons and we stopped eating super late as well because we would always like eat really late so we kind of stopped doing that we always ate like really healthy so that wasn't really a concern or anything like that since i did lose weight and medication is usually um designed for a specific thing so if you weigh x amount of whatever and uh that changes the medication kind of becomes sometimes too much. So for example, let's just give a hypothetical. Let's say I'm supposed to take 500 milligrams of Lamotrigine if I was weighing like 300 pounds or something like that. If I lost like 100 pounds or 50 pounds or something like that, that medication amount would already mess with me. Like it would make me goofy and like what's basically happening to me. I, I wanted to talk about it because Ali made a good point um, I don't usually like to have these let's talk moments, but she made a good point that perhaps there are other people that have gone through this or are going through something similar to this. And I, you know I me, mean, I like to be completely honest with everything because it's, it shows the entire day. If I was vlogging normally, Ali was like, yeah, you might want to talk about it at the end of the day because I, I completely looked, it probably looks like it right now. I ended up calling my doctor I requested um, to che check out my medication. So tomorrow I'm gonna actually get blood work to see if we have to lower the dose now. It's most likely going to be the case. I asked them to bump up the MRI, even though I talked to them at length, saying, is this something I should be concerned about? And every doctor was saying, no, no, this has nothing to do with what you think. Stop doing what you do. They always make fun of me. Stop doing what you're doing, because they, like when they used to be like, oh, we can give you an MRI every three months. I would be like, no, let's do every two. So they knew. Um, so they're like, oh, we'll just do it another month early. So I got that going, got the blood work going. So hopefully that kind of aids into the fact I won't be so loopy. Because what it is, it makes me feel kind of like if you were drunk or if you were high, kind of like, so it's not like vomiting or like diarrhea or anything like that or throwing up. It's more of like this like what do you want to call it like a head high so what it does is makes you feel super loopy you know like so i would be kind of like bumbly and stuff like that my slur i didn't have any slurs or anything like that but this is what they have me on this is what i hope that they kind of adjust because i feel knock on wood i almost fell over um that i haven't had like you know a seizure in like over a year and like year and a half <laughs> everyone knock on wood for me so after the, the surgery, the third brain surgery, you know, everything is essentially gone except these little micro things, which is what we did the radiation for. By the way, it's getting better. Look at that. Isn't that kind of crazy? It's still, it's still like growing back, but I mean, now I only wear hats just out of habit. So the, I was like, you know what? Could it could be this, could it be that? And they're like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't freak yourself out. So then we got to the whole medication situation and I asked them about that. So they're doing the blood work to see if I can taper down. Cause this is what I have to take. I have to take 
350 milligrams of lamotrigine uh, in the morning and night, ER, extended release. Then I have to take this thing called oxcarpazepine, which is another one. I think it's 300 milligrams uh, morning and night. Then I have to take lamotrigine, 25 milligrams, two of those twice a night. Then lamotrigine ER 50 at night. So it's very confusing. There's like a lot of them. It makes no sense every time I have to explain it to a doctor or a nurse were like asking what I'm on. They're just like, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so I have to explain it. Cause it's confusing probably, like why is it so confusing? I don't know. But at this point I've consolidated like a lot of it. So I think that might be a situation to where it may be affecting me now. Why all of a sudden, I don't know. I think maybe it's like the weight thing. It's like the exercising thing. It's dietary situations. It's not COVID. The only one say, though, it's COVID, it's COVID shot. I had my third, uh, I think I saw somebody say it's your fifth booster. That doesn't even exist. So I, it was my third booster and I had that a month and a half ago. So nope. And it's not COVID. I don't feel like anything, any of the symptoms for that. So let's just take that and just throw that out the door <laughs> or window or off the camera. So yeah, I mean, I kind of wanted just to t explain that a little bit because I didn't really want to film a vlog today. I just wanted to kind of chill. That's specifically doctor's orders. They said, relax, put down the camera, don't do anything today. So I listened. I usually don't do that. <laughs> but this time I felt like I needed to. As much as I wanted to work on our thing, by the way, I said earlier, this week, we will be showing you guys and telling you guys. It's a little stressful, you know, trying to get something like that together. I mean, think about when we did the RV, how stressful that was. And we're still technically working on that. I talked to Chewy, the couple of things that we need to do, we're replacing tires, blah, 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 blah. It's a little stressful because we're still not quite done with our uh, little RV COVID project. We call it that because we did it through the entire COVID process. And then we decided to do this together and I think, you know, added, you know, everything else, it just kind of gets, it's fun. It's fun stress. So don't get me wrong. It's not like this, what is it called? You stress, stress, I think is what it is, where it's good stress. Um, I can't remember, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, that's kind of like where I'm going right now. Um, I just wanted to do one of those let's talk type situations because I haven't done one in a long time and I felt like it'd be nice to get it off my chest and uh, maybe connect a little bit more with somebody else who's going through a similar situation. I know damn well that there are other people out there taking weird medications or a lot of them and they're just like, I know exactly what you're talking about. And then there might be nobody or maybe no like friends or something like that. This is where we all connect. This is where all we relate. And this is why I like doing these vlogs and these little sit down things because they mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble. Hopefully we had some sort of connection and hopefully everyone's getting excited for this week. I know I'm super getting excited as we get progress with what we're doing. And I'm not gonna dangle the carrot because I promise you this week we're telling you. Thank you so much for letting me vent. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss another video. Make sure you're following us on Instagram because we'll probably put little teasers on the stories and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much. In the comments, what do I want you guys to do? In the comments, I want you guys to do the emoji of, uh, what's the fun emoji? Do the emoji of the uh, face. Do that. Just spam it into the comments. I want to see a lot of laughing, goofy faces. Like one of those. Where's that? Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.